Hi everybody, it's Jill here with Mommy Vignettes and I am going to do kind of a random video today um, just show you a couple things that we have been enjoying around our house um, playing with Eliza and um, just kind of wanting to see how you guys are doing as well and letting you know how much I appreciate your support um, all the time and checking my YouTube channel and checking out my blog so remember you can always check the links to things that I show on my videos and get more information on my blog at mommyvignettes.blogspot.com so, First off, um, I just wanted to let you know that it has been super busy. I've been very, very busy um, at my work. I work in labor and delivery, and summer is our busy season, so everybody likes to have their babies in the summer, and every time I work, it's just been absolutely crazy. We have pregnant person after pregnant person coming in um, with all sorts of problems, and some of them in labor, so it's just been crazy. Um, so I've been a little bit tired because I work evenings and nights, so it's a little hard to get going in the morning after I've been up so late. So anyways, um, I just wanted to show you a couple things today that we've been enjoying around our house. Um, I'd gotten a request to do a video on developmental stages, uh, kind of continuing that video series from about 10 to 18 months. And I have a couple items that we've been using for that length of time since my daughter was about 8 to 10 months old and now she's 22 months old and we're still using these products. So there are a lot of toys that you can use for the long run. You don't have to just use them for that specific time period. A lot of people think, well this toy is just for my 3 to 6 month old or just for my 9 to 12 month old and you can really get you know, high quality toys that can be used for years that your child will enjoy and that they can kind of grow into as they get older. So uh, one example that I have that I've showed these before, these are just simple stacking cups and we have several different um, kinds of these stacking cups but they just come in all sorts of different sizes. Um, they come in different shapes and different colors. I love these ones because the bottom has little designs, two little animals, it's hard to tell but there's a little design right there. The inside of the cup has numbers so you know they count up I think to 20, there's probably 20 cups. Yeah. Um, so my daughter has loved these from the time she was very little. She loved just picking them up, looking at them, slobbering on them, which was fine with us. Um, you know, just kind of looking at them because they're colorful. And now she's to the point, she's 22 months old, that she's really good at stacking them. She will take the stack apart. She'll start stacking them high. Then she'll knock them down. She loves that. So this is a good example of a toy that, you know, is very easy to get. It's very inexpensive and it will last you a long time and your child won't really get tired of it. So we bring these cups everywhere because they're just a good universal toy to have. So that's a good example. And then the other toy that we have been loving, um, it's really simple, but she loves puzzles and she's getting really good at them now. So this is a little foam puzzle and just has foam numbers that pop out like this and then you just so we just put it on a flat surface and I got this at the dollar store like a year ago way before she could I was even gonna do puzzles with her she was just a baby so um, I, I got this at the dollar store you can get similar number puzzles um, other places as well and at first we didn't really pull it out for a while and then she started to do some other simple puzzles um, some Melissa and Doug puzzles that have just little animals that she got really good at those so I decided to pull this one out because it was a little bit more complex and just a couple of animals in the, in the shapes so um, and she was really good at this I didn't really we haven't been really teaching her numbers very much and she just kind of clicked on it I mean she doesn't know that five is a number um, but she recognized where the shapes went you know we took all of the numbers out and then she would just be able to put them in she needed a little help turning them around but so that's another good example of something that from a young age your child could just play with this. You know, you could pop out the numbers. Um, she like, you know, they could chew on it. Um, I tried to not let her chew on it because it leaves little indent marks, but it's not going to hurt if they chew on it. Um, and she can just look at the different colors, touch, you know, they have some texture, some fun texture on the front. So just to kind of get some stimulation that way, or that way, and then when they get older, they can start actually putting the numbers in and then I, you know we plan on using this for a while to come with her and actually helping her to learn her letters so that's just another good example um, the other thing this is totally random and unrelated but I just got this today um, in the mail and wanted to share it with you guys um, it's called eye candy 
And I got this from a website called SheSteals.com, and they have daily, uh, daily deals that you can buy. And this one sounded pretty cool. The shipping's very minimum. And basically, and I got one for me and one for a gift to give somebody. So basically, it comes in this little package, um, and they're little, like, eye patches like this that you can cool. You can put them in your fridge, and they get cold, kind of like an ice pack. And then in the mornings or any time that you feel like you have puffy eyes or sore eyes, you can put them on your eyelids like this and it just will instantly help to cool and decrease the puffing and the swelling. So if you've had allergies or if you're sick or if you have a headache or you just need kind of a good wake up call, these are a really good idea. Um, the package insert says that you don't want to put them in the freezer. You can put them in just temporarily to get, a, to get them quickly chilled down, but they're more, they're really meant to be stored in, in, in your refrigerator, so they'll get cold that way. So don't store them in your freezer, but I got these from SheSteals.com, and I'll link that on my blog um, so you can take a look. And they had tons of different colors. They were almost sold out by the time I got it. They had some really fun ones that looked like cucumbers, so just like the cucumbers that you know you used to do and put on your eyelids, um, but these ones were blue, so that's all they had left. They had pink ones too, so that was really fun. Um, so, I would appreciate your comments below. Make sure that you subscribe up above, that you can stay tuned with all my new videos. Please, please let me know what you're thinking about the videos, if you have any other requests or questions. And also make sure to check out my blog. I'm starting to do some um, different types of posts on there. So make sure you stay tuned on my blog for other things that, I'm not, that I don't do videos on on the channel. So, hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks. Bye.